Our intelligence and our energy are at the lowest during the common business meeting, which is kind of ironic because that's when we need our intelligence and our energy the most. So here are three things we can do. Number one, pre-paving. That means visualizing yourself being highly energized prior to walking into the meeting, setting the tone, if you will. If professional athletes do this prior to a match or a meet or a game, then why shouldn't we do the same thing in business? Number two, come into the meeting early with your laptop closed, your cell phone off, and just allow yourself to get into those serendipitous, chit-chatty conversations about each other's family, what you did over the weekend, what you've got planned for your vacation, because those kind of interpersonal connections pay dividends down the road. And it helps you set yourself into the meeting with some positive energy because you connected with people. And number three, when you're in the meeting, don't sit for one hour, two hours, three hours without standing up. Try to move around, walk around the room, stand up, anything. Get the blood flowing because that actually creates better energy and better focus. In fact, the Mayo Clinic has even done some studies on this where they have walking meetings around the campus and the facilitator or leader of the team has a placard on their chest that says, meeting in progress, please do not interrupt. So in short, let's come to the meeting early without our cell phones on to connect with people. Two, let's pre-pave how we want to feel before the meeting starts. And three, let's keep things moving physically so we can be focused and we can access these wonderful brains of ours.